Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. Um, the links to those are all in the description box below, okay? Uh, readings can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced i do a monthly giveaway i give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals so hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below if you don't mind winning any one of those things you could hashtag the word all okay um, if you're interested in learning how to read tarot or opening a YouTube channel, you can check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, the link is below. And if you're interested in checking out my tarot and oracle decks, the links are below. As of right now, I have Spirit Shield Tarot and Spirit Shield Oracle. Buy one, get one free. So it's a huge BOGO sale. I've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is 20% off and these are are running low in stock and then there's raven's rose oracle which is out of stock right now hopefully we'll have that back in stock soon okay all right what are we grateful for today my loves i'm grateful for my cancer babies i'm grateful for my youtube family i'm grateful for my health wealth peace prosperity abundance i'm grateful that my puppies are safe happy healthy and doing well and i'm just grateful to be here with you guys i am I am, I am. Okay, let's get pop in here and let's see what energy your person's in Cancer. Spirit, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about Cancer's person. What energy is Cancer's person in, please? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have no interest. We've got masculine and we've got delays interesting okay so right now cancer your person is sitting either i don't know if this is towards you or a third party but they're in some type of unrequited one-sided relationship i know you want me but i don't feel the same way i stick around because i like your love honestly what i'm getting from this cancer is that your divine masculine is with somebody because there's a, they're with a rebound right now that they don't care about. There's a delay between you and your person, some type of blockage, and it's meant to come back together in divine timing. It says here, every setback is happening for a reason. One day it will all fall into place and you'll see why. Okay. So I don't know if this separation between you and your person is happening for your masculine to ascend into DM energy, divine masculine energy. But they're with someone right now that they just, it's one-sided. It's completely unrequited. So I don't know why they're staying in that type of energy. I don't know. Let's see here. I feel I'm getting like a rebound vibe. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer and this divine masculine energy. Six of pentacles and the two of cups. So there's a, a relationship here. Six of Pentacles can talk about breadcrumbing a situation and moving towards something else. The High Priestess and the Two of Swords. I feel like you and your person are not talking. We could be dealing with a Pisces. So Cancer, if you and your person are completely not in communication, it's because they went to go give to another situation okay your relationship with your person ended because they were cheating at, with someone else they were cheating with someone else and i feel like they caught feelings for this person they caught feelings for this person with the six of wands they may have felt like this was the one or this uh, third party really fed their ego do you see what i'm saying and cancer with this king of swords energy they just cut you off completely they cut you off completely we could be dealing with a scorpio spirit tell me about cancer please and the ace of cups yeah they protected this new love interest at all cost okay 
I feel like with the Knight of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles, your person moved way too fast. They moved way too fast thinking that something was going to work that is not working. Okay, I feel like with the Three of Swords and the Devil, it could be that this third party energy cheated on them or lied to them or there's something about this third party energy. This third party energy may not care about your person. I hate to put it that way to you because it looks to be cancer like your person kind of tossed you to the side to pursue somebody that maybe is not interested in them at all. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. Tell me about cancer, please. The Magician and the Ten of Wands. So, cancer, what's happening here is, is your person tossed you to the side like garbage to go pursue this third party energy. The six of wands is always my card of looks. It could be that someone here, you know, they felt like someone was more attractive than you, or, you know, I, they wanted to win someone's heart or win someone's affection and they needed to be on that full time. So I feel that cancer, this is someone where it started off where they breadcrumbed you and then eventually it got to the point where they tossed you to the side like nothing. And this ended because they were being deceitful. It ended because they started talking to somebody else, somebody that they wanted to date. They wanted to win this person. You know, the six of wands is like they wanted to be public with this person. You know, I don't know, you know, and with the king of swords and the ace of cups, they really, um, you know, they wanted to protect this new love interest. And not only that, but they, I feel like they were trying to win this third party's heart. Okay. And with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, they needed the freedom to just go do what they needed to do. But I feel like this person made, they, they weren't thinking clearly, you know, they may have just been so caught up with looks or material things that they just made a very hasty and very reckless decision, Cancer. They thought it would work out. This could have been with somebody that they told you was just a friend when it was not just a friend. It could have been a coworker or someone that they were going to the gym with. But Cancer, this person broke their heart. This person really broke their heart. The, this person either cheated on them or I don't know what this third party did. Or maybe the love was just unrequited. You know what I'm saying? This third party may have just stuck around because they liked your person's attention. Do you see what I'm saying? But then when it got too serious where your person wanted to get serious with them, they just, you know, fell off the face of the earth. I do feel that cancer, this person's realizing that they should have stayed committed to you, but they're realizing now that with the magician and the 10 of wands, that's going to be very difficult to do. It's going to be very difficult to get you back after the way they treated you. Yeah, they're, they're realizing here that they should have stuck with you. They made the wrong decision and they know that manifesting that now, getting you back is not going to be easy with that 10 of wands energy. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Tell me about the six of pentacles here, please, for cancer and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this person met someone new and they started ignoring you um, with the tower, the two of cups and the empress cancer. Um, we could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio or a Taurus or Virgo, a Gemini. Um, so Cancer, this is someone that caused a tower with an Empress. So you could have been married to this person. You could have children with this person or, you know, Cancer, you just were very devoted to this person, you know, and they did this. They, they sabotaged the connection with you because with the full card here, they wanted to go play. You know, they wanted to go play. They wanted to go take a look and see if the grass was greener. Strong Aries energy. Tell me about the two of swords and the king of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that, you know, cut you out. They reneged on their promises because they were too busy looking at something else. This person just did not want to commit, you know, all the promises that they made. It's like this person just went from, you know, being all about you to just tossing you to the side. 
you know i feel like cancer with the nine of pentacles and the six of swords it changed your feelings for this person watching this person choose someone else over you and treat you like that changed your feelings with the six of swords you got over this person you got over this person you said, I, I think it just, it made you look at this. There are things that you thought this person would never do to you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe your relationship wasn't perfect, but there's, there's like these boundaries that you thought like, you know, they would never do that to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they did. I feel like with the seven of swords here, the judgment card and the 10 of swords cancer, this is someone that made a decision that they are never going to be able to go back from. They put a dent in your, the judgment card is a major arcana. This is putting a dent in a relationship where you cannot ever take back that decision. Okay. They made this decision to cheat. They made this decision, this decision to hurt you 10 of swords and it did hurt you. Okay, it made them making with the two of wands this decision to just abandon you with the five of pentacles energy to just cut you out and ghost you and disappear on you. That hit it for you. It's just it just hit bad. It did. It hit so bad cancer that it changed the way it you see this person. It changed the way you felt about this person. Do you understand? I feel like what happened here with this third party is these two started talking and your person wanted to get to know the third party better. They wanted more time with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands to talk to that third party, get to know that third party. With the Four of Pentacles, they did not want to let go of the third party. So this person planned with the Eight of Cups here, the Five of Swords and the King of Swords, they planned the ending of your relationship. They intentionally sabotaged the end of your relationship. With the strength card and the five of wands with the ace of cups, what they were out to do is they, they wanted to win this third party's heart and they knew that there was competition and your person needed all of their time and energy to be with this, you know, third party. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I know it hurts me telling you this, but I have to keep it real with you. With the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Cups here, I feel that Cancer, this person was rushing towards the third party, wanting very high levels of commitment. But Karma doesn't skip a beat, okay? We've got the Justice card here. We could be dealing with a Libra and the Three of Pentacles. I think that this third party told your person that they just want to be friends, yeah, I think that I think that this third party told your person, I am I don't have those feelings for you. Seriously though, like I know you you don't want to hear me, but for real though, like I don't want to be with you like that. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like this third party may have even told your person, I don't have those feelings for you, but your person felt that if you were out of the picture and they had time to actually pursue the third party, they would be able to get the third party. But the third party is like, listen, dude, with or without cancer, I don't, I just don't want you like that. Like, I don't, I don't have those feelings for you. You know, we're friends. We could be friends, but I really don't have those feelings for you. Do you understand? And now cancer, your person is looking back with the three of swords, the devil, the seven of pentacles and the ace of wands and the three of cups at their actions towards you. They're looking back at how badly they hurt you for somebody that doesn't even shit them, for somebody that didn't even have any interest in them at all. So Cancer, with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands, you are going to hear from this person, okay? You are going to hear from this person because they're looking back at their actions and they're like, oh my gosh, I hurt Cancer so bad when cancer was loved me cancer was loyal to me cancer was, went above and beyond to do everything that i needed you know what i'm saying cancer was really good to me cancer didn't deserve this do you understand 
but they're with the magician and the ten of wands they're going to have a very difficult time queen of cups and the ten of of cups here i have to be honest cancer i feel that you still have a tremendous amount of love for this person but you, you may love them but you're not exactly in love with them anymore does that make sense like your feelings have shifted and have changed. Like, you know, you had so your heart used to be on fire for this person. And now your heart is just numb and cold. You know, you just, you just don't feel the same way. Page of cups and the six of cups cancer. This X is coming back. You know what I'm saying? They are coming back. And with the hierophant here, I do feel like this person is making promises that that will never happen again. Um, you know, on that delay oracle card, Cancer, it does say, okay, every setback is happening for a reason. One day it will all fall into place and you'll see why. The wheel of fortune here, Cancer, this is somebody where the tables turned on them really bad. The tables turned on them really badly, okay? And now this person is trying to manifest forgiveness. They're trying to, uh, you know, they're trying to win your heart back, okay? But with the seven of wands and the ten of wands, it's not going to be easy getting past that huge wall of ice that you have put around your heart when it comes down to this person. With the eight of swords here, Cancer, you're still, you still have the way they treated you, the way they looked at you, the way they talked to you still very fresh in your mind okay it's still very fresh in your mind yeah look see we've got the emperor so you see we've got the emperor to the empress here cancer i feel like and we've got the divine masculine here this is why i'm gonna focus on this really quick okay so i feel like this is somebody that was <sighs> tested okay this was like the last test that they had to learn and I feel like the, the lesson that they're learning here is that they have, you know, s something so amazing sitting at home. Like, why are you out here chasing, you know, like, you know, I, I heard a saying the other day and I forget what it was. It was something like, you know, don't go out chasing hot dogs. If who said that someone said that, and maybe it was in a comment, don't go out chasing hot dogs. If you've got like, you know, five-star restaurant material, like at home, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what this person did. They went chasing hot dogs when, you know, they had like, you know, a freaking filet mignon steak sitting at home. Like what, that, why would you do that? I don't know, you know? So I feel like cancer, this person is coming back to you in an energy of being very, oh, you know, the emperor is very overprotective. Okay very overprotective uh, and I'm picking that up on this card too because it says protective powerful okay um so cancer I feel like this is someone that is is feeling very like protective of you right now like I can't believe I hurt someone so good for someone that doesn't even shit me like what was I thinking like you know and I see them with the seven of pentacles here the three of swords and the devil like how could I hurt cancer so badly for this like you know someone who has my back someone who is so good to me how could I hurt cancer so badly for this you know and I feel like this person has woken up with the wheel of fortune and the emperor I, I feel like this person has learned a lesson to protect to protect you and your relationship um but cancer i'm telling you you still have this person's betrayal very fresh in your mind so this is going to be quite the challenge for them okay so let's go into the extended. Let's see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Should you, you know, what will happen if you get back with this person? What will happen if you leave it alone? What will come in for you if you just, you know, if you don't take this person back, okay? Um, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you so very much and I will see you guys there. Take care, my darlings.